We're live. Logan. He's live and then you go right for us. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, we are doing something a little bit different today. Usually we are talking about coffee and um, we've talked about health benefits, mm -hmm. some different products that we have. And today we're actually just going to chat. We're just going to kind of have a coffee chat. Yeah, coffee with friends. Um, I feel like it's show and tell for adults a little bit, though, so I'm a little bit excited. Yeah. So I will let you guys talk about some things going on in your life, and then I will do my big show and tell <laughs> so project. Exciting. Yes. I know. Yeah. I know Britton shared something so funny. I think it's so adorable. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm Lori. Patty. I'm Britton. And Britton's my daughter, just in case you don't know. So um, the stories that she tells are usually about my grandbabies. So... Yeah, we have, you know, some interesting chats in the morning on the way to school, and last week my youngest, he's three, and he's looking out the window, and he looks kind of perplexed, and finally I, I ask him, I'm like, hey, what's up, buddy? And he's like, mom, why are the clouds moving? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, how do you why answer are the that, clouds moving? right? So yeah. we start talking about... Um, you know, kind of weather and the wind, and then I proceed to tell them that we live on a ball, and it's actually called a planet, and it's Earth, and all of a sudden, my five-year-old chimes in, and she goes, Mom, I knew we lived on a ball. I just didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I just started dying laughing. <laughs> like, yes, okay. <laughs> gravity is kind of terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, she doesn't understand gravity, but I think she thinks it's like this. I tried to show them pictures of the earth, and but they just don't get the scope of it. She didn't you know? want to tell you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think she thinks we like live on this tiny little ball. <laughs> that you're going to fall off right. and it turns. You're Aww. balancing every yeah. day, tiptoeing on it. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. Hey, Jen. How are you? Oh, kids are funny. They say that. the funniest things. Yeah. I know um, some of the miss words, like um, Sedona, my now 12-year-old, would call um, tornadoes potatoes. <laughs> so she'd be like, a potato's coming! <laughs> she gets so scared, <laughs> she too. Gets so scared. And I hate to, like, I don't want him to say the right word. I actually want to encourage the wrong words. Oh, yeah, it's so Because it's adorable. Yes, one of my favorite of um, Estelle's is that instead of saying, of course, when you ask her to do things, she always like, for course, Mommy, for course. <laughs> and I love it so much much i'm never correcting no. it and mcdonald's yeah. Aww, like. mcdonald's yeah. and tacos bella <laughs> they're little french kids so yeah. i have three boys we just get fart jokes and poop that's yeah. all we get you know yeah. we've, oh we they do those, those. Yeah. we've got plenty of that hear a lot of those words yeah. um but the weather here is still cold oh my god so yesterday i had to go and sit through two varsity baseball games it was legit 40 degrees I could not feel from the mid of my foot to the tips of my toes. I'm like asking, there's um, moms on the teams that are nurses. I'm like, hey, uh, what does hypothermia feel like? <laughs> are my lips blue? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. My friend Anna was like, uh, well, is it numb and tingling? I'm like, yeah, definitely. I'm going to lose my toes today. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go sit in the car for an hour. It I'm really cold. It wasn't even that cold. It was so cold. Maybe we were on the side from, field. what, 3.30 to 8 o'clock. So yeah, two double, a double it's header. It's so yeah. unexpected. I know they yeah. started our pool yesterday. What? That <laughs> soon? Like, I think the ice just just the hot hot yeah bit, last but... time i saw your pool had ice on it yeah but oh it is gosh. crazy um, i mean we yeah. used to have to wait to put the dock or the boat in until april 15th that was like kind of always okay just a safe i just day. say memorial because i know i've gone on my birthday trip before which is may 25th yeah. and still not been in shorts yeah yeah, yeah. So all you people who live in warmer climates, we're very jealous right now. <laughs> and the only reason why we live where the air hurts our face, or for me, is because of bugs and snakes. <laughs> but really just snakes. We yeah. have yeah. those yeah. in abundance. But like not like the yucky snakes, like the snakes that can kill you. We only have like one of those. And those I like do like minor. seasons, though. <laughs> like, I mean, I love Florida. I visit Florida a lot. But it would not be a place I probably wanted to live. I know mm -hmm. my brothers live in Texas. And... It just gets to be a lot. The, the heat, heat all the time. All the time. Yeah. Even their weather is like super severe. I mean, we have snowstorms and stuff, oh, but we yeah. don't have crazy severe weather. My sister-in-law just posted yeah. a fire and a tornado 
at Whoa. the same time, like pictures of those, the videos, Where is which that? is crazy. In Texas somewhere. Ooh. I didn't look at it because I was horrified. All right, prayers for Texas. So, but huh. she, Vanessa, I love you because you post the craziest <laughs> stuff. Like you find yes. the most random crazy stories and I appreciate it <laughs> yeah same I'm always telling my husband I'm reading I'm like did you know oh <laughs> yeah like, just this apparently I need to follow Vanessa too yeah, yeah <laughs> really she's uh she's a wealth of <laughs> random knowledge <laughs> of horror, no the most horrendous ter- horrific stories ever so like right up my I alley then. oh yeah yeah like <laughs> pro- the true crime part oh, of you yeah. would love this I could tell you all about the true crime <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> So for spring break, here's my show and tell part. Mm -hmm. Um, We actually look, I brought my prop. (laughs) What is it? What is it? (laughs) We made lightsabers. (laughs) So so tell them where you went. Five of us and our family Mm -hmm. went to um, actually the new Star Wars hotel. I think it's called Galactica. Um, And it's... It's hard to get into, so thank you, Courtney, because I know that she stayed on, I think, hold for like six hours to get us a reservation. Wow. So it's a two, I'm going to sound like an infomercial for Disney. Really, I'm not. I've got some definite opinions about it, but um, two nights, three days, but you sure. go on a spaceship, and it's like Choose Your Adventure books. Nice. If you're my age, you guys might not remember. I know these. Choose Your we Adventure books. Well, so, yeah. I mean, Choose Your Adventure, but it, they're doing text. And then it's like, are you with the resistance? Are you with, who are you with? And then you like follow the storyline and everybody's different. So of course That's my crazy. older boys were smugglers and they just went wherever the money was. <laughs> There's a robot in our room talking to us, like on a screen. Nice. And they're just telling her they're smugglers, which I don't think you should tell the people that you're on the <laughs> ship. But um, so they they chart the storyline for you. And so it'd be like, hey, meet Sammy in the engineering room. Here's your code word. So um, you're, awesome. it's not relaxing at all. <laughs> you run around like a, like a crazy like a person. Mystery, like a it crazy is kind of like a yeah. two-day-long murder mystery. You have to hack stuff. You have to decode stuff. Or yeah. one of those escape rooms we yes. go to. Oh, so yes. like a never-ending escape room. But I, my daughter hmm. came back, my 12-year-old came, and she's like, Hey, Mom, um, I tried to go to our meeting, but the guy shut the door in my face. <laughs> and so I'm like, What? So I go in there, I knock, and he's like, What's the code word? And I said, Abracadabra? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Everyone's like, No! And he's like, oh, it's okay. I know her. She's with us. No, we didn't know each other. So then we got another bonus storyline. Nice. So we were like following, and he was really cute. So, <laughs> so we tried to follow him a little more. Follow you, sir. But um, super fun, ridiculously expensive, I'm not going to lie. But I felt like it was one in a like, lifetime, lifetime chance. Yeah. So... We all, my whole, all five of us made lightsabers. Did you get to pick the lightsaber training? Yeah, yeah, I picked like the whole everything. So did you get to pick that you were green and that red? Because you could have been did. dark side, green, right? Yes, yeah. green is counselor. Okay. But then I didn't know we ran back out because yeah. I bought a yellow and a white crystal because I like yellow. Uh huh. Um, um, but where's the crystal? Is it in here? It's in this hole, so you can switch it out. Oh, that's cool. So you can and switch it, yeah. the colors. You guys can't it. see this, but the case that it was in was really cool as we well. We bought the upgraded case so that we could, you know, store them because I need, <laughs> I need to bring them. I don't know where. Are you going to display it in your house or in your super cool closet by chance? Oh, I'm totally, I don't know. I'm going to probably you just need go a to really Comic-Con cool, like, or yeah. something just to have yeah. the lightsaber. Yeah. And I made I all my family that. have yeah. matching outfits. <laughs> it was it was really cool. You I should be holding pictures. We held pictures. down the fort at the office. Oh, True. Galactic yeah. Star Cruiser. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody knows because I thought Galactica maybe was trademark something. Different. I think that's a whole Star different. Trek. No, but I think it's like a whole different like movie, like a sci-fi movie or something. But it is crazy. So, but you're kind of like, yeah. oh, we're going on a spaceship, and then I realized like right before, like we're not really going on a spaceship. Like it's just a hotel. We can bring <laughs> water and beer with us. <laughs> so we brought we're not provisions. isolated. Yeah. So, and the food is really good, right? Excellent. The food was excellent. The atmosphere, the theming of it, um, the the characters, especially with the kids. It was a really, mm-hmm. really very immersive, which made me a little bit nervous with younger children, um, experience. Yeah. So I did write a whole, not blog, but for my Disney group, my Disney Custom and Holics so group, um, a little blog. So if anybody's interested about any details, um, 
Message the page, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am yeah. more yeah. than happy to share what, just my own personal thoughts. And to be clear, we stayed five in a room because it's that I said, we, you guys can stay with us, but we're staying five in a room. So we had a queen size bed, we had bunk beds. So my six foot tall kids even were in there. <laughs> and then a like a trundle that came down from the ground, which actually Branson slept in and he's six foot. Yeah. So it five adults are used to being on in close quarters. I mean, yeah. I mean. where she has six kids, so we're used to <laughs> make room. Yeah, <laughs> just make room. Yeah. So, um, but oh, yeah, I was like, oh, we're not. I'm like, how much more is a suite? Never mind. <laughs> we're fine. And really, you're out of your room so much that they keep you out till ten or eleven at night wow. doing activities. That's so late. Yeah, for yeah. little kids, it's really late. I'm for done at like adults, eight p.m. Yeah, like nine like, thirty. Yeah. Because there's nothing else yeah. to do on the ship. Like if you don't engage in this, they have one bar, super cool they've got like a little bingo and some games throughout the day but mm -hmm. if you don't engage in the story it's not like there's a pool and a gym oh. and stuff to go to like if you don't engage in this game you're yeah. gonna be so bored yeah so you have to really like commit to it and my husband i don't know he was like trying to be a spy for the dark side but not really <laughs> and not really going to any meetings or completing missions but saying he did <laughs> and uh, they finally Shocking. just stopped communicating to him, so. well i mean let's be fair when we go to escape rooms half yes. the time he puts on a costume and stands in the corner and lets yes. us do the Very work true. but he he completed it, right? That so it sounds like heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we love escape rooms. So, and we love murder mysteries. Like, we're that kind of family that likes yeah. dressing up and doing silly stuff. So mm -hmm. if that's not your jam, if you, like, want a relaxing spa-like vacation, this is not it at all. Um, but if yeah. you like, you know. But like you said, once in a lifetime, well, go do it We're crazy competitive. Yeah. I mean, when we oh, go yeah. to an escape room, we already know we're going to escape. It's can we get the top spot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> for sure. And, like, we've brought extra people with us, and it hasn't always gone well because they get mad. Because it's like, um, we know each other's strength and weaknesses so well. So it's like, oh, Brittany, you do this. Branson, you do that. Because mm -hmm. we know. And if you can't get it right away, like, tap out and tap someone in because we want we want to get like through it. it quick. Yeah, yeah, no, it's crazy. People have gotten really frustrated or they just step back and they just kind of let us do our thing. <laughs> yeah, Crystal and Chuck are like, yeah, you guys intense. just go. We'll watch <laughs> the babies. Fun, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not super competitive in real life. It's just funny when we get together in team event. Like, Branson, who is super chill, oh, yeah. gets, well, the, I, he's the worst. Let's yeah. go back to we're not competitive in real life. I was going to say, we we're not. pretty competitive in real life. <laughs> I don't think I'm real competitive. You are extremely competitive. I'm competitive with myself. I don't with think yourself, I'm competitive. With yourself, but also, like, even with the company, like, you're like, no, we're going to win. Mm -hmm. But as a team, not like you specifically. Yeah, yeah but team, like team, I would say team things, it's more like, okay, yeah, we're like, going to do this. We're yeah. all kind of like that. Like, as a team, we're going to yeah. win. Yeah. We're yeah. going to do this. We're, we're going to get those orders. But individual, you know? like, I mean, I, yeah. Britt and I remember when you I'm golfed. No, oh, when you golfed, she was, like, in the golf finals in junior golf, and she's, like, they were, like, cut tying or something. They were in, like, the, the, hole. the, like the you know, hole. The, whatever it's called, the playoff. Like, but you yeah. have to just do one hole and whoever, and she just looked at the person. She's, like, can she just win? It's okay. Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, in my defense, like, I'm super competitive, but once I get to that point, or, like, I'm just losing so bad or something, I'm just, just I'm out. done. Like, yeah. I just but I don't home. think you were in the yeah. first tier, no, so you're like, I didn't, it didn't care. We had already mm -hmm. played five holes and tied five holes trying to win this thing. But then so London, tired. my second daughter, was in the same position. Now, they, she was in the first tier, so it was. But I said, wow, London, worst case, you get second place. This is pretty out. She's like, I want to win. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh. That's 100% London. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> but so it, it was interesting just to see <laughs> yeah. how different you are. Oh, no, I think we want to do our best. Whatever we do, we want to do our best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not necessarily, to me, that's not necessarily competitive, except for with yourself or with yeah, results, maybe. Mm -hmm. But one of our core values is, you know, always, you know, changing, right? Or yeah. like acceptance improving. of change. Yeah. Continual yeah. improvement. Thank you. Yeah. That's the better way to say it, continual improvement. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we don't continually improve, we stay the same and, yeah. you know. Yeah, and I think that we're all always looking for things that we can do better. Mm -hmm. And I think that's because we don't have a high ego. You know what I mean? If it, yeah. if you are accepting that we can always do better and there's always room for growth. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's funny, too, because the three of us, we get really upset when people get egotistical with us. Like, yeah. 
you know, we're, we're all kind of, when somebody tries to pull that ego and like we really shut down <laughs> yeah. because of that, which is interesting. Yeah. Well, and I, with vendors though, how, how much better have we had for vendor relationships? Cause we tell them right away, like you guys are the experts at yeah. this. Like we don't offend us and we won't be offended. Yeah. Tell us if we're going down the wrong path. Yeah, you tell know us, your industry. you guys know it better than us. Just like we feel like we know coffee and, and that. Mm -hmm. So we've, we can, you know, we're open to new ideas, but sometimes it's like, oh, we already tried this, or this is why, you yeah. know, we haven't seen, or this is yeah. the growth in the industry or whatever. Right. Um, so I think that's interesting. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. why this works and why it doesn't. So this is mm -hmm. kind of a different week, right? Yeah. We decided to just chat like oh, yeah. we normally do. Yeah, well, we <laughs> well, I do want to um, answer a question that we did get really quick. Oh. Um, uh, Clem gave us a comment about the flavors in our Coffee of the Month box. And I know it's hard sometimes because you fall in love with the flavor and then it goes away. But you can always message us, um, our customer service, our Facebook page, and ask if, the, if there's something similar. You know, if you really like that cherry, you know, um, I think... Clem wanted the, the cherry, cherry jelly, jelly beans. beans. You know, we recommend trying our Michigan cherry coffee. Mm -hmm. um, there's a marshmallow coffee. Maybe you want to try our s'mores coffee. Yeah, that one has more chocolate in it, but maybe we'll get another one in the future too. Yeah. Um, my best advice is if you find something you fell in love with, buy it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, our yeah. subscription really. coffee is going so quickly. Yeah. Um, and that was always our intention yeah. not to have a ton left over because we want it to be special for our subscribers. Yes. But we don't want it sitting you know. for a long time because we literally have one pretty large shelf, but we only have one shelf. So yeah. we've got to rotate it through. We don't have any more space. And a lot of yeah. times there's only the decaf left of the flavors many times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this month we doubled it. And so there's still like a little bit left, mm -hmm. but not that much. I'm so excited for this month. That's going to be so fun. I know. Um, this coming month? Yeah. The okay. same reveal goes out today. Yes. Via email. I don't know if it's posted on social yet. Yeah, no, we could tell everybody. everybody. We yeah. should tell them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the theme for this month is actually, we're going to call it Alice and Coffee Land. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> um, so it's really exciting. We just got the artwork today. Yes. And so shout yay. out to Alex for yeah. her um, yes. work on that. We've had like Super a guest cute. person yeah. doing the artwork, and it's really fun kind of just to see somebody else's imagination at play. Oh, yeah, and the imagination yeah. is so fun, too, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a nice, mm -hmm. you know, it's nice to, even like when I get to do it once in a while, or, you know, it's, yeah. just, it's fun to do something a little bit different. It's a nice creative process. Yeah. You know? And we do have mm -hmm. a new marketing person, so we're really excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, her name is Ashley. I'm sure we'll introduce her on here soon. We don't want to scare her. She just it's started only her Monday. third day. Yeah. <laughs> Come in and get in front of the camera, hey. no problem. Hi, Donna. Thank you. We're white, glad you love our coffee. The white chocolate mocha coffee. White chocolate um, mocha. That's not familiar to me. I'm well, not we, sure. We have like a white chocolate mocha drink, but not like a flavored yeah. coffee. Yeah. Um, so I know right now we have a white chocolate macadamia flavor. I don't know if we have any left, but that was our white there chocolate macadamia cookie left, dough. Yeah. Um, but if you want to elaborate what the flavor profile of, um, was that, I, I can't recall ever doing a white chocolate mocha flavor. Does that remember. ring a bell to you? No. Just our, I mean, obviously our drink. But, but honestly, mm -hmm. we've been in business for a long time. It could have been done There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot of flavors yeah. that yeah. people ask to bring back that I don't, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. Well, but yeah. there is one that somebody's been asking for, several somebodies, that will be making a debut in June, I believe. Yes. So I'm really excited for that and one. And the new cake cup flavors have gone really well. People oh, yeah. have really oh, liked really having like those. flying off Yeah, the shelves. Mac Island Fudge, Chocolate Fudge Brownie, White Chocolate Strawberry. And, and we did get our Banana Nut toast. Cream lids in finally oh, yes. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So those um, all shipped yesterday. Yeah, mm. so we yeah, should we're, be. we're caught up on orders. All, our Not wall's wood, empty. We, we, put all, we put all the orders <laughs> on a wall that are waiting to go out. And our wall is, except for 2.0, 40 decaf, which they assured me they're doing this morning. Fantastic. And our wall will be empty. Yes. And yeah. we are, um, K-Cup, uh, interesting. I mean, we did, K-Cups are... 38% of our retail business, which wow. is, it's just growing so much. So we are um, investing into that side of the business. I actually, when I was in Vegas with some girlfriends, I went and visited somewhere where they had a different machine. So yeah. we should be able to. Um, in the 2000s. Mm -hmm. It was back Great. in the 2000s. Oh, okay. Okay, that's before these girls were born. <laughs> not <know>. true. <laughs> no, I'm not, not true. But I mean, I was not. Okay, so I started working for Coffee Beater in 2006. So definitely okay. not that long ago. But I remember in 2000, like like 
2006, they, that was when they first introduced Michigan Cherry. That was a brand new Whoa. flavor. We'll ask yeah. Joanne. Mm-hmm. Joanne will probably have mm-hmm. some insight to that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, she probably knows about that flavor. But yeah. thank you. That says was... banana nut cream is why I became a loyal. Oh. oh, banana nut cream is so, so good. good. It's almost like a hidden favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Um, when I, I had shocked. it, I was sh- I was like banana nut yeah. cream, almost banana nut cream. Did we cut? We it's banana nut bread. Yeah, right? it's transitioning into that yeah. name. Yeah, because I'm yeah. like it's almost more like banana nut cream, like pie or yeah. something. It's just it's really strong banana flavor, yeah. but in yeah. the best way. I think it took me ten years to actually try it. Like I was like, I don't like banana laffy taffies. I don't like. I do not like banana. Yeah. And then we were doing R and D for something, and I tried it, and I was like. Well, maybe I do like banana. <laughs> it is. And I think banana nut bread is a much better uh, fit for the name. Yeah, fit yeah. for the name. Yeah. 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 It's funny you say that because, like, you know, we both worked in the store, yeah. um, you know, started out working in a, our store here in Flint. And it's the same thing, right? You brew coffee every day and you're like, oh, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try that. Yeah. And I remember the same thing, banana nut cream going, <laughs> <laughs> what? Who comes up with banana flavored coffee? Amazing. Well, and I think it was, wasn't it like Carly or somebody who loved it? And that yeah. was, so, so whenever she worked, she would brew the yeah. banana cream. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Buy this one again. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. Have we ever tried that with like the double Dutch chocolate? Or yeah. It's like a chocolate, chocolate covered, covered banana. banana. So oh. one, another one that people like is um, the banana with Vermont maple. So it's more like a banana somebody, sponsor flavor. Oh. So I yeah. had a chocolate, chocolate covered cherries too which we did that like years ago remember mm-hmm. wasn't that really maybe good? we should do ago. a mix-up box where we mix flavors together Ooh, I oh love it. that's a fun idea i really like that there is a thank you we like the new name too oh um, thank you jennifer Patty can't say the old name without giggling it's true <laughs> it's been her dream since she came in it's it's, it's been a very flavors. very long dream i finally won <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Banana yeah. nut bread. <laughs> I mean, I'm just a reiteration. Obviously, some of the names are changing. They're still the same flavors. Yes. Um, we're having a little bit, you know, like in the 20 pack K cups, like some of them have changed, some of them haven't. Yeah. So there's a little bit it's of a transition. transition. Dear yeah. Ed, for sure. Yeah. Um, but, and I can't wait for the Mackinac Island fudge. I think we're mm-hmm. almost ready to start producing that coffee. Yeah, the, the, 12 yeah. the labels coffee. are on the way, and then that will be in 12 ounce as well. Mm-hmm. So soon. Yeah, nice. really soon. Really and if you soon. Mackinac Island, um, for Michigan people, we know what Mackinac Island is. I didn't grow up here, though, so it wasn't like yeah. I grew up knew, knowing what it is. Mm-hmm. You guys want to? Tell them what Mackinac Island is because it's kind of cool. Well, you can only get to it by ferry or plane. Most people go to it by ferry. Yeah, there's um, no cars. Yeah. It's an island. So, yeah. it's so obviously it's an island. Yeah, and so we, vehicles. because in Michigan we show you everything in our hands, right? So it's like the, this is the lower peninsula, this is the upper peninsula. And the island's, like, right over here by the bridge. Oh, no the idea. Mackinac Bridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just drive yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I just show up there. Yeah. I, just, I do. I just go. Wherever Google tells um, me to go. But, yeah, so uh, the so island. So there's horses. There's no there's, cars on the yeah. island. It's, like, horses and carriages. Yeah. And it's quite a bit of it's wooded. Yeah. Some people live there year round, but mm-hmm. it's right obviously right on the water. There's beautiful bed and breakfast. Oh, the landscaper. Yeah. There's a landscape artist, uh, Jack Barnwell, I think his name is, and he does like the most beautiful like floral everything. And there's there. cool history yeah. with the fort and with yeah. its yeah. position yeah. for the cool. military. You can bike yeah. around the whole island. Ooh, and you know what I did a couple years ago <laughs> for my tenth anniversary? I forgot about this. Um, so I'm really like terrified of like you know ghost stuff. Like I, I just really don't like it. We did. Uh, my husband and I did a, a ghost tour. And it's so, um, to me it's more, Island? yeah, did, but how did we not know that? Right? I, I swear you know. You might have no, just forgotten. No, I've never heard yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, so <laughs> we bought we bought a package and it was uh, Mission Point and you basically, and it's really more history, right? Yeah. And you just like do a walk down, basically down the main street and they're like, okay, and this person died and this, you know, and, and sometimes you can see them in the window, you know, kind of like the one we did oh, on yeah, the land shot, sure. right? For sure. But it's fascinating and so we got back to mission point and um there was a story about someone who actually died in the hotel or like the cliffs behind and i remember 
before I had done the research and I knew what room the person had stayed in. I said, I'm not staying in that building. And there's two different <laughs> buildings. And so we purposely stayed in the other building. And then when we, the ghost tour took us there, it was the last half. And they're like, and that's where he died. And it was the cliffs right behind my room. Of course it was. And so I told my husband and like, I, I like even like, okay, you had to stand outside the door when I go to the bathroom because like, I'm so scared right now. Like oh stuff with the gosh. lights on. Like it was just ridiculous. But on a lighter note, there's, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's, um, what's the, the grand hotel there? Which oh is yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They filmed that it movie is, somewhere in time It there. is a treat to stay there. Mm-hmm. And my husband very sweetly on our 30th 25th anniversary. No, I don't know. you got uh, oh I did renew our vows yeah, on the 25th so our yeah. 30th anniversary yeah. booked us the somewhere in time suite which is a very Super popular cool. movie which I'd never Christopher seen Christopher Reeves and I can't remember the lady Jane that's Austen it. there you go no Jane Fonda Jane, no, Jane, Jane Austen. Austen no Jane no. Austen writes the books yeah, Jane it's Austen. um yeah. oh she's beautiful is what it Jane, is her name is that Jane Fonda it's not Jane Fonda no, no. <laughs> come on <laughs> no um she Jane Seymour okay um, that makes sense. She's, she, yeah, it's, it's, it was really, um, uh, well, because I'd never, he was, it was a very sweet gift. Yeah. But since I'd never seen the movie, I didn't understand how romantic it, the gesture was. So we sat and watched the movie on a Saturday. Nice. But they actually have an event where people dress up in the old time things. Yeah. That's so he cool. told me I had to dress up fancy. Like, I bought a wedding gown. <laughs> I had a cut fit. And then I was, realized. They're overdressed. Oh, yeah. I didn't wear my wedding gown. I wore my other <laughs> gown. My $50 dress. Yes. But the, um, you know, the so Grand Hotel. I have a wedding gown. <laughs> yeah. you need you, one. They have a dress code, and you have to wear, like, the men have to yes. be in a jacket yes. and everything. And, and the children, meals. too. And they just said it's just kind of, I mean, it is kind of going back in time and etiquette. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. you love those times when you, like, go away for a whole month with your yeah. family in the summer? Yeah. And yeah. spending a whole month together yeah. would be amazing. But yeah. back to so, Mackinac Islands is very yeah. island, but they are known for their fudge. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, all throughout Michigan, you find Mackinac Island fudge. Yeah. And yes. it's usually from either the city, not the island always, yeah. but Mackinac. Mm-hmm. There's Mackinac Murdoch, City Rubies. and then across yeah. is the island. Yeah. So, yeah. so. Um, but it is really a beautiful yeah. place to go visit. We actually brought a foreign exchange student from Sweden there. It's super so, fun, yeah. Nana. Mm-hmm. And um, she, when she smelled it, it's actually the smell of horse manure. Yeah. <laughs> we were going across. Right. Like, it smells like Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like my home. And I was like, what, horse manure? <laughs> it's but, funny though because our parents kind of live like in a city area i think it's just more earthy like, do you know what yeah. i mean it's just so much more earthy i mean they there, live but... they live in a tiny town now see the mm-hmm. the banana nut makes yeah. her giggle too yeah, so, yeah. you're not <laughs> the only 12 year old thanks for the backup i appreciate it <laughs> yeah uh, mackinac island is definitely something to visit mm-hmm. i don't think you need a whole week there like three days yeah it's great yeah i think even, it's like eight miles around even if you too. stay in the city and just do like one day on the island yeah that's really enough. you can take carriage mm-hmm. rides around you can like we talked about bike yeah. ride around mm-hmm. i think it's like yeah is it three miles or eight miles i think it's eight but i'm not sure Six? yeah it's not very yeah. far yeah. even kids can go around yeah it's yeah. just beautiful like northern michigan is gorgeous so you and know. so at the west side there's and a even, lot of but even though it's yeah, warm the sure. water is always cold it is. lake so superior i water is just the most ridiculously cold place on earth Say. And yeah. that ferry going across can be, yeah, yeah. very cold, I but guess. so fun. But really <laughs> fun. fun. Yeah. So that's why Mackinac Island fudge, because it's known for fudge. I mean, yeah. just every kind of fudge you can even imagine. I yeah. I hate fudge, honestly. But really? Yeah, I, I love like it. fudge. I should Me be too. like I should be 120 pounds, but. <laughs> I like but uh, butter, butter and bacon. And bacon. <laughs> that's too much, are her two so. food groups. <laughs> but weirdly enough, that's how our menu is at the coffee bean. So we did the reveal. So that's yep. good. So you guys kind of got a sneak peek at that. Yep. And and uh, we think probably, I mean, maybe once a month we'll just sit around and chat. I don't know if mm-hmm. anybody finds it at all amusing. But if you guys have anything you want to um, share, talk about. Yeah, mm-hmm. or if you just if you like this format once in a while. <laughs> yeah, actually, my son suggested it, so he's I'm like, oh, what should what should we talk about? And he's like, why don't you guys just have a coffee chat? Because you guys, chat yeah, I think all yeah. the time. Yeah. finds yeah. this pretty amusing. Yeah, well, and it's just funny too because, like they said, they're mother and daughter, but I've worked here for a million years, and I just consider myself family. Oh, so. it is truly yeah. a family. I think yeah. you can tell we're family mm-hmm. company. And sometimes I wonder about that. I'm like, I hope you, I hope people don't think like we're being mean to each other. <laughs> no. We just uh, always, I mean, with love in our hearts, but yeah. we tease each other. Absolutely, it's yeah, kind of just like a family. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fun place to work. <laughs> 
So, yeah. but thank you for joining us. Thanks, oh, Donna. Appreciate Donna. Yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I hope everybody just has a wonderful day mm-hmm. and that um, summer comes soon to Michigan. I'm and if you say. have any fun, funny kids' stories, oh, or yeah. please share them with us. We love to hear them. We love to hear funny things that kids say. I think we should have a like a its a own like hashtag or something right. because yeah. they're. They're just so funny. I love mm-hmm. kids. They're so But well, nice. have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm very amused. Yeah. Chuck. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. You might be a bit biased, hey. Chuck. You, yeah. You've got to laugh at us. <laughs> yeah. I look so. forward to Chuck coming to Michigan this year and making us drinks at the pool again. Oh, right? yes, our pool Best boy. Best pool boy ever. Best yeah. pool boy ever. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Mm-hmm. So, have Bye. a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Take and care. Um, we'll see you next week. <laughs>